Hi and welcome back to Game Writer Bytes. Um, today I'm talking about breaking in, which a lot of people ask me how to break in as a game writer because, you know, sort of obviously I'm here um, doing this task and, and they'd like to do it as well. Um, and it's not something I find very easy to answer because my own route to, to writing games was, was quite a strange one. Um, I started out as an artist uh, with Revolution Software um, over 20 years ago now. Um, do, I was doing um, background paintings and some sprite animations. But then I moved into a producer role um, and um, was a producer on a few titles before becoming involved with the design and writing side, which I've continued into my freelance career. Um, so breaking in as a writer um, was quite fortunate for me in some respects but I had to kind of prove myself at the same time and that's I think is what it comes down to is proving yourself. I mean breaking into any area of professional writing is going to be difficult because there are an awful lot of demands and an awful lot of people who want to do it. A lot of people love writing and a lot of people are very good at writing um, so so you need to work hard to make sure that, that you give yourself the best chance you can. And I'm not talking, you know, sort of like trying to say, don't try this because you have no choice, chance, because this, that would be silly of me to do so. And what I'm saying is that m make sure you give yourself the best opportunities you can by having all the strengths that you need. If you feel that you have some um, weak areas within your writing and storytelling, then strengthen them. I mean, even games that have no apparent you know, character arc or no, no story structure um, from the outside. You still need to take these um, skills and, and, and abilities to the um, meeting table when discussing these things because if you're hesitant then it doesn't strike other people as, as very good. So you need to be confident, you need to know this stuff um, when, when approaching people and when discussing um, story and character and dialogue matters. And I think that's true in any any writing industry, really. Um, but once you're ready, how do you actually break in? Now, if you have a fantastic background in another medium, then you can maybe approach the big boys, such as Rockstar or Bungie or, or lots of other people who, who have such high-profile games. Um, but for most people, you know, that's possibly not going to be the opportunity because they don't have the, 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 the track record to go with their their desire and, and, and skills. And that's not you know, that doesn't mean that you can't get these jobs, eventually maybe. Um, but you may have to start a little bit lower on the ladder. And certainly one of the you know best ways to do this is to look to the indie game development scene. Find a small team who may not even realise that they need your um, your skills until you convince them of this. Uh, and of course these small projects will not be full time. In fact even big projects aren't necessarily full time and a lot of the projects I work on um, don't um, occupy all my time. I'll spend maybe a week here or a few days there um, and then have to balance a number of projects on the go at the same time. And I think that this is an important thing to learn as well. You know, sort of like, how do you deal with all these different projects? But if, if you um, convince um, a small team that you're, you're worthy of, of their project, um, be prepared to, to handle this in the best way and be professional um, and really add something um, to the project and work with them. Um, to make it the best you can. And you never know, you may inspire this independent um, team to work together on something much grander and worthy of all your talents. So, good luck. Thank you very much.